The muscle car market is rapidly expanding. The Rebel machine will help you capture that market. Many young people have the desire, the time, and the money to share the excitement of matching their skills and cars in some form of competition. Others, who may never race it, still want to own an outstanding performance car like the machine because it helps out their image with the young crowd. A few years ago, they probably had trouble finding the square inches in textbook cylinders. But now they talk easily about cubic inch displacement in relation to stroke and bore. They talk knowingly about horsepower and torque in relation to RPMs. Al, our model salesman, didn't go back to school to get an engineering degree so he could talk to these youngsters, but he did brush up on the features of the new muscle cars that the enthusiasts want to know about. In this film, you'll see how Al presented the Rebel machine to one prospect whose questions would really have thrown him a curve had he not been prepared. You will also have a chance to offer your own answers first. When you hear this tone, you can stop the record while you give your own answer. Then start it up again and listen to Al's answer. His answers are good models to follow. Al Bender's prospect is David Smiley, a 28-year-old bachelor. He makes $10,000 a year and has just recently become interested in high performance and racing. He decided the time has come to get a muscle car of his own. The striking red, white, and blue car caught his eye as he was walking by, and he came into the showroom. Hello, I'm Al Bender. I noticed you did a double take when you saw that car. That's some machine, isn't it? Beautiful. What is it? Well, this is the Rebel machine. Al is about to give a short overall statement about the Rebel machine. He'll position it as an intermediate muscle car. He'll mention special performance features, such as the Ram Air Scoop, Hood Scoop Mounted Tachometer, Mag-styled 15-inch wheels, with power front disc brakes, special dual exhaust system, heavy-duty springs and shocks, front and rear sway bars, Four on the floor Hurst shift. 340 horsepower engine. These reminders will make it easy to construct your own description of the machine. Stop the record at the sound of the tone and give your own answer. Then start it again. Here's Al's opener. This is the machine. It's American Motors' newest muscle car. It's our intermediate-sized, high-style, high-performance Rebel. It features a Ram air scoop with built-in tachometer, mag-style 15-inch wheels with power front disc brakes, special dual exhaust system, heavy-duty springs and shocks, front and rear sway bars, a four-on-the-floor hearse shift, and a powerful 340-horsepower engine all wrapped up in a striking red, white, and blue package that distinguishes the machine from every other car on the road. And you know, the machine will be legally eligible for NHRA and AHRA stock classes. The machine in showroom condition has the capability of recording ETs in the mid-14s for the quarter mile. I can see the air scoop all right, but what's the deal on the tack? Dave is pointing at the tachometer. How would you answer his question? The machine's hood scoop mounted to common is lighted, and it's calibrated from 0 to 8,000 RPMs. It's placed in your line of vision so you don't have to take your eyes off the road to read it. As you know, the tachometer will help you make use of all available horsepower. Well, that sounds good so far, but if I'm going to put out harder and cash for a muscle car, I want to be sure I get a real power package. It was the distinctive racy looks that brought Dave into the showroom, but Dave has just given Al a very strong clue about his main interest. With that clue in mind, which type of feature would you emphasize most in the rest of your presentation to Dave? Comfort features, such as the optional air conditioning. Convenience features, such as optional power steering. Performance features, such as engine horsepower and torque. Al emphasizes the performance features for a prospect like Dave. As a matter of fact, 
Dave asks so many questions about performance features that Al covers most of them by just answering his questions. Dave really gets started when Al shows him the engine. I noticed that the 390 on the AMX is rated at 325 horsepower. Now, you say this 390 engine turns out 340 horsepower. How come? The big difference is the improved engine breathing. This is due to performance modifications in both the intake and exhaust manifolding. When does it hit its top power? How many RPM? Fifty-one hundred. How many? Well, you get that top three hundred and forty horsepower at fifty-one hundred RPMs. What's the story on the torque? Well, it develops high torque at low speeds for a fast getaway. It reaches maximum torque of four hundred and thirty foot-pounds at thirty-six hundred RPMs. How about the shift? Is four on the floor standard? Oh, yes, indeed. Four on the floor with Hurst linkage is standard for the machine. The Hurst shifter controls a close ratio all synchro mesh gearbox. You'll find that you get faster acceleration and shifting with the Hurst. I've got to try this for myself. Well, let's go. While Al is driving to his chosen demonstration spot, he may talk about some or all of these features. Standard upholstery, bucket seats, the axle ratios, standard power front disc brakes, Optional shift command. Which would you emphasize for Dave? Al might mention the bucket seats, but he would certainly emphasize the performance features, such as the axle ratios and power front disc brakes. What would you tell Dave about the standard axle ratio with a four on the floor? The standard axle ratio with the four on the floor is 354. Is that the best I can get? I don't see making a quarter of a mile in 14 and a half seconds with that. Well, if you really want fast acceleration, you can get a 391 ratio. I guess you know the higher the axle ratio, the greater the acceleration you can get. But it's the lower ratios that give you the highest top end for touring. On second thought, I don't want to settle for a lower top end. I guess I'd go for this 354 just as it is. Dave is a typical performance enthusiast. As you've heard, he keeps pushing for details that most customers couldn't care less about. But Al is not just an answer man. He is a salesman. He makes sure to tell Dave the advantages of all the major performance features that will help clinch the sale. What features still have to be covered with Dave? Ram Air Scoop, Hood Scoop Mounted Tachometer, Mag Styled 15 Inch Wheels, with Power Front Disc Brakes, Special Dual Exhaust System, Heavy Duty Shocks and Springs, Front and Rear Sway Bars, Four on the Floor Shift, Axle Ratios, 340 Horsepower Engine. Al still has to bring out the benefits of special dual exhaust system, heavy-duty springs and shocks, mag-styled 15-inch wheels, power front disc brakes, and front and rear sway bars. Once Dave got the feel of the machine, he couldn't wait to do his own thing in his own machine. Whether your customers are well-informed racing buffs like Dave, or average guys looking for the prestige of a top performance car, you can expect to muscle in on a growing market. The newest member of the Rebel line will do it. As Al says, that is some machine. <laughs>